Hi guys, this is Hung Van Gogh. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I have Cherise Monet. She's Australian beauty, just arrived in New York one week ago, and we're happy to have her here. She lent me her gorgeous canvas to create this blue graphic eye makeup for spring summer. I hope you enjoy the video. Give the channel always a lot of love. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. And don't forget to follow all of us on Instagram as well. Thank you. To start every makeup, I always prep the skincare first. The first product I'm going to use is Tatcha the Kisu Lip Mask. This is a beautiful lip mask. It's non-sticky. It contains plant-based pollen to soften and plump the lips. You can use this overnight or you can use this under makeup as well. The next product is the La Mer the Treatment Lotion. It's very hydrating, toning lotion. You can use that instead of serum or under serum. This is help to plumb and hydrate the skin before all the skincare. I would put this first before you put your serum and moisturizer, or you can use this, as I said earlier, instead of serum. The best way you apply this is just like what I'm doing right now, just really press into the skin. Next is Sowashu Concentrated Jinxin Renewing Eye Cream. This is hydrating eye cream, anti-aging benefits with ginseng extracts ingredient, and it's ideally to prep under makeup, or you can use it as a normal daily eye cream, day or night. Next is La Mer, the Moisturizing Soft Cream. I normally use the thicker cream for evening, but for day, this would be a great moisturizer for you. It is a softer and lighter texture version of the original one. It's very hydrate and it creates the skin barrier. It's perfect for under makeup. It's great for normal to combination skin and it's great for people live in the cold weather or really dry weather I mean you can use any kind of weather but if people find this cream a little rich for them then you can use that for nighttime but this is a lighter a softer version always give some love to the skin Give your face a little facial, little massage. Cherise has such gorgeous skin and gorgeous features. She came in today, she sit down, have breakfast. I honestly didn't want to put any makeup on her. But because we are doing a makeup video, I'm still going to do some makeup and something fun. But the complexion is so beautiful. The only thing, just a little bit of the color under the eye here that most of us who have olive skin or deeper skin will have. So that's the only thing that I'm just going to try to cover but her skin is just really gorgeous. For the complexion, I'm going to use these three products. The first product I'm going to use is the NARS Cosmetic Radiant Creamy Color Corrector. The shade I'm using is the medium. So this one here, so basically it can help to cancel out any of these dark under eye here or a little bit of the color around the mouth here. And then 
for foundation i'm not going to use any foundation i'm going to use the super goop protect tint daily skin tint spf 50 sunscreen so this is a sunscreen have a little tint in there and the shades i'm using is 30w if you cannot catch all the shades we always list it under the description box and you can check it out there for concealer i'm going to use the cosat revealer concealer this one here concealer for her complexion i mean most likely i'm just going to use a little bit of concealer there a little bit around the nose here around the mouth the rest of them there's nothing to cover at all because her skin is that gorgeous to begin with two stars i'm going to use the color corrector first this one helps to neutralize the hyperpigmentation under eye dark circle dark spot and it's very very lightweight for me if i have this beautiful skin i would wear sunscreen a little bit color corrector and i think my skin is ready to go and it's crease proof and this is for all skin type you can clearly see that even if I just put a little color corrector, her skin just look flawless right now. The great thing about using color corrector is you're not a foundation person, you will feel like you wear nothing on the face. And it just take out the little pigmentation or any color that you want to neutralize and you're ready to go. So as you can see that a little bit color corrector, Cherie's skin look just flawless. But the Super Goop, this is sunscreen, but have a tiny bit of the tint. It's mineral and chemical sunscreen. It's very lightweight. It is beautiful coverage, but I, for me, it's so light. I would use as a finger instead of the brush as well. You see that, just use a little bit. And they have a few different shades, so you can choose the right shade for you. See that just a little bit. This is a sunscreen and they have a very little tin. And I'm gonna use the finger, just blend all over. And don't forget your necks as well. As you can see, this gives a very beautiful, natural, radiant finish. This is great for people who have for dry combination and normal skin. It's fragrance-free and it's vegan. I think this is fantastic. And the great thing, they have a few different shades. So you know, a lot of times tinted sunscreen, they have only like one or two shades. So it's a little trickier to find a shade that doesn't have that white cast or the lighter cast. And this is great. And I think the shades match on her is perfect. For the concealer, this one have skincare infused creamy concealer and it helps to cover and calm the delicate skin. You see, I just put a little bit under the eye before I blend it out. And around the mouth, around the nose, and that's all I'm gonna put for concealer. And the concealer is medium coverage. It does keep the radiant finish. And the great thing about this is it's safe for sensitive skin as well.
for powder, I'm going to use La Prairie Skin Caviar Loose Powder. Shade I'm using is Translucent 2. This is a beautiful, lightweight, loose powder. It helps to create natural matte finish. It's infused with tons of amazing skincare ingredients. The price point of the powder, definitely in the high range, but if you can afford it, go for it. I think it's fantastic powder. You can see that it's so sheer and it gives you that just beautiful natural matte finish. I really love it. I would just Playing off camera, I use the powder to do a little baking underneath as well. And to be very honest with you, I absolutely love it. This is definitely not a sponsored video. I received this in a PR package, but I think this is just really beautiful powder. This is first time trying on camera, and I think it just, I did just a little bit baking, just like a few seconds, and I just really love the finish of the powder. For bronzer, I'm going to use Dual Beauty Forever Natural Bronze Healthy Glow Bronzing Powder. The shades I'm using is A Deep. Um, this is, I use a deeper shade because I didn't do any contour or nothing at all. I just use a little deeper shade. I just want to scope the face a little bit. This is a beautiful, lightweight powder finish. and it's light coverage and it's soft matte finish and the texture is so easy to blend on and you see the way I do a little bit at a time that's all you need So as you can see that I keep the skin somewhat matte, but all the different texture I'm going to use is all cream. And I think that's a great way to maintain the makeup last long. Instead, just use the skin really dewy and then everything cream, it's gonna slide right off. Because the skin, when you do matte like this, throughout the day, it's gonna create that dewy finish already and then the cream highlight everything on top that is still gonna hold for you but if you just don't powder the skin or anything the skin better than the day the makeup won't last long for you so that's why the skin right now i keep them somewhat matte before i even create all the blush or eye or highlighter for eyebrow i'm going to use two products from ks and co and it called michael feathering brow pen and the clear strong brow gel so basically Cherie's eyebrow is just really beautiful and full and she likes to keep them somewhat natural like this and I think about eyebrow is you always have to respect the talent if someone like the eyebrow full and they don't want to tweeze or make them really thin you should leave the way it is and you can frame the eyebrow with maintain their natural eye shape some people they like to be really thin they tweeze it out and they will spend every day to clean up little hair then you can create a shape like that but i think for a talent who love the natural eyebrow like this i think you can still enhance them just maintain exactly what it is to start so basically i keep everything I just want to fill in anywhere that need a little bit more uh, filled in or lifted. You can see the eyebrow right here. Her eyebrow very full, but you see there's a little gap there. And that's where I'm going to put a little bit of the marker. And this is the best way to maintain the natural brow looking. Because if you use a pencil, you may take the spade too big. Um, you cover too big a spade, you don't see individual hair anymore.
So you see that? I just did that. And then what I'm going to do, and I just filled in a little bit on the back here. And I purposely chose the eyebrow marker a little lighter so the eyebrow won't look too dense. Because sometimes if you do the marker too dark, the eyebrow look dark and too dense looking. So this way, the eyebrow still look very natural. See that? I just lift it up, lift like that. I'm just fill it in a little bit on the back here. And I think that's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do the same on the other side. And I think you, the marker to create the shape is always the most natural you can get. You see her eyebrow look just beautiful like this, even just a marker creating. And then you can use a strong brow gel to set the brow. And now we use like a second spoolie just to like tame down all the little hair. For eyes, I'm going to use these four products. The first product is Rare Beauty Always an Optimist Weightless Eyeshadow Primer. The second product is 1999 Beauty Precision Color Pencil. The shades I'm using is Wasser, I think Wasser, Wasser. The name on, on the description box in case I say it's wrong. And for eyeshadow, I'm going to use the Violet You Paint Liquid Eyeshadow. I mean, this is like liquid eyeshadow. I can't say the French word very well. It's the eyeshadow and liner and the shade. This shade is a blue color here. And for mascara, I'm going to use the Barreto Mascara. This is a volumizing mascara. To start, I'm going to use some eyeshadow primer first. To prime the eye before I do the eyeshadow. So this eyeshadow it works as the eyeliner. You can use eyeliner or as an eyeshadow as well. But I'm going to use a pencil liner just do on along the lash line first. Just get more precision before I use the eyeshadow. But you don't have to use the pencil if you don't want to. It's just you know for me I like to use certain things for certain things so it just become a habit but you can use just the shadow to create the whole look and the shadow the shape i love the color and you can do any shape you want you can do a thick shadow all over the lid you can do a, just a little color or uh, any way you want to play with color Do a little bit of the blue liner along the lash line. Just get the depth. And this is the creamy matte formula. And this type of liner um, the, from this brand, you can use anywhere on the face. Lips, eye, cheeks. Anywhere they have many different color you can use anywhere on the face I Blend it out a little bit Okay This really is the statement of the whole makeup look. So you can go anywhere you want. You can make it a thick liner, you can make it a thick shadow, any way you want. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do a banana shape like that. And that's all I do. Simple, it's a way, fun way to wear color. And you can apply it directly on with the brush, with a finger, any way you want. I'm gonna use with a brush because I like to get more control.
and this you can use as the eyeshadow or eyeliner like I said it is long wear it's smudge proof one is set and it's lightweight vegan and creative free let's chip do a banana shape just like that And if you want to get really intense, I would recommend to do wait until you set a little bit and then you do a second layer in there. That's when you get a lot more pigment, a lot stronger. But this one here, I mean the beautiful color on every skin color. What I would recommend to do as well, you can do before I set, you can use a little Q-tip here and clean up the edges or you can use a blending brush if you want more diffuse edges so it's really just personal preference I'm going to do the same on the other side as I mentioned to get it more and more intense you see that I let the eye set a little bit and I do a second layer and this is how you get the color more intense and you can keep building like that because this is very lightweight and it doesn't affect nothing at all you see that the color get way more intense than the first layer and that's a great thing about this product is that you can get built and built to the intensity you want you see that how intense the color look now and it's just really beautiful So when you do these graphics eyeshadow shape, you have to consider how the eye is going to look when they look up. So you see that right now, the both the shadow shape is pretty even on both sides. But Cherise, when she look up, you can see that because one of her natural eyelid is open a little bigger than the other side. But that's something you have to sacrifice, you know what I mean? So whether you're going to choose for the talent even look up then you have to cheat the shadow this one go a lot higher to even on the side or you can choose how they're going to close going to be even and when they look up uneven so one way or the other you still can create the same thickness looking up on this side but you have to open that thickness on this side a little more but for me I think because this eyeshadow shape is more fun so I don't mind when they look up a little bit uneven shape it look some, sometimes it look more like you do that in purpose but you see that both of them it look very similar so that's something about the eye shape not everyone have perfectly even symmetrical eyelid space both sides I don't think anyone have it like that but it will show more when you do this kind of graphic eye shape so keep that in mind when you do the graphic eyes i just curl the lashes off camera now i'm gonna apply some mascara and again when you do this you have to consider would you want to do mask on the bottom as well or you want just the top the top is going to give you lifted but i think i'm still going to put a little bit at the bottom just show the definite the eye shape and for me i mean when you do these heavy color you don't want to stick your finger when you apply mascara so i would recommend use the brush that you use you can hold like that and you apply mascara so that way it doesn't get dirty or doesn't get messy or you don't want to mess up the makeup that you just did so this is can be another way to apply mascara but for this look I think it's great that she doesn't have too much mascara because it's, it's nice it looks bold the color is just a statement it's just the color and I do a little bit one layer on the top and one layer in the bottom when you do this kind of statement eye I think the best way to keep the face really balanced is keep the cheeks and the lips in more softer focus so I'm going to use Chanel Beauty number one the Chanel lips and cheek 
balm. This is like a balmy, creamy texture. So this is multi-use. You can use it for cheeks and lips. And this is infused with red camellia oil to hydrate the skin. So it's great. Like I mentioned earlier, I keep the skin matte, but now everything else I need a bit more dewy. So I can use the same color for the cheeks. You can use your finger or you can use a brush as well. I would recommend something like this and you can just apply with a brush. It's that's more comfortable for you. And I think this color is so beautiful. I purposely chose this color because if you look at her lips, the color is almost identical, you know, that inner part of her lips and it's just a bit more enhanced. So this would be a perfect color that you know it will look beautiful and natural on her because she only has some of those in there already. And I think this color is just really beautiful. So this is most the best way to balance out the makeup because I think if for this look, if I do it with a strong lips, it's gonna be looking too heavy. So this way, she still can look really soft even she wears a strong graphic eyeshadow. Because this is, you can use for both lip and cheeks. I'm using my finger for the color. You can see that it's, it's like her color, but it's really enhanced and it's really natural and beautiful. This is a great formulation that for people to have it on the go. It's just, you can just hydrate the lips and you can have a little color as well. They come in multiple different color. For highlighter, I'm going to use Westman Atelier Lit Up Glow Highlighter Stick. The shades I'm using is Nectar. This color right here, this is like a translucent balm highlight. Chanel have similar this kind of texture and they're really beautiful as well. And this is Radiant Finish Hydrating Formula and it's vegan and cruelty free as well. It gives you really subtle sheen and just really gorgeous. And you can see that it's just really subtle and really dewy a little bit on the cheekbone a little bit on the ridge of the nose a little bit on the cupid bow To complete the makeup, I'm going to use Gucci Beauty Mist. You can use this to refresh the makeup throughout the day, before the makeup, after the makeup, and to help to set a little bit as well. That's the final look, guys. Thank you so much for coming to the channel. I hope you have fun with us. I hope everyone enjoyed this graphic blue makeup and it's more spring summer beautiful skin and i think it's a great look to play with you can use this with blue green any color you like but just a similar concept it's very easy to do i hope you enjoy the look and give the channel always a lot of love subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet and don't forget to follow all of us on instagram as well thank you